All right, let's talk about Justin Herbert, who had a a wild game here for the Los Angeles Chargers. Because if you missed it, maybe you were watching the other Monday night football game, you might look at the final score and say, oh, wow, okay, 17-15. I I guess the Cardinals defense played well in this game and were able to kind of shut down the the Chargers. And while they had their moments, then when you click on the box score, you see Herbert had 350 yards. And it's like, wait, how does he have 350 passing yards and yet they only score 15 points? Well... Let's get into it and talk about how it happened, starting off with this play, which is kind of a great microcosm for how this whole thing went down, which is the the Chargers on this play have a receiver running a route that's going to uh, you know go further down the field. But when this play begins, I think there's just a blown coverage by, it looks like it was Starling Thomas who blew the coverage, uh, who's now the, line, the, excuse me, not the linebacker, the uh, corner, who's desperately trying to get back and make the play. Uh, it's hard to say exactly right here, but you do see Herbert has a wide open receiver. So Herbert makes it, they get the catch, no big deal. But then they fumble it, uh, which is definitely not a good situation there for the Chargers. That was Starling Thomas, who, you know, great hustle to come back and make the play and knock the ball out. Uh, The Cardinals recover and they get the ball back. So, like, kind of a great microcosm of what went, you know, how this game went. Of the Chargers being able to move the ball very effectively. But once they kind of, you know, got down there, you could, I guess, phrase it either way. They were making mistakes or the Cardinals were making plays when they had to on the key downs to allow them to, you know, make things work. Because I got to say, I thought Herbert played great in this one. I thought Herbert was making some really good throws. Like, for example, this one, it's a, a zone coverage concept. And really the route that I think Herbert's, uh, you know, that can mo- most often get open is the route going closest towards the sideline, uh, so the one going further down. The issue, of course, is that it's a tough angle. Herbert's on the hash marks on the top of the screen. I mean, look, you see how Herbert does ultimately look in that direction and fire in that direction, but there's a, a, a Cardinals player who can get over and make a play. So that's the issue right here for the Chargers. But this is such a good throw. Watch as it beats that Cardinals player, and they're able to pick up a a first down on third and five. There were some real nice plays from Herbert in this game, I thought. I thought he was doing a really good job. Uh, Not every play worked, but even the plays that didn't work, I thought were pretty good plays by Herbert. This is a third down and nine situation. So again, kind of what we're talking about, right, of these key plays, the, the key downs that the Cardinals have to win on, they're winning on, but it's a one on one matchup on the outside right here. Herbert's going to take the snap. He looks in that direction, fires in that direction. And as of right here, okay, is there a a, a bit of a window? I mean, you can see why he's making the throw, right? You have a uh, Simi uh, Fagoko. Uh, uh, Sorry, I'm not, not saying his name correctly, uh, but Simi right here. You see that. I mean, it's just, again, it's, it's good defense by the Cardinals. You got to give them credit. This is the whole bend, don't break uh, philosophy. Uh, you know, Max Milton doing a very good job on that play of being able to come over and make a play. So, hey, uh, you got to tip your cap. But at the same time, this is a Cardinals secondary that hasn't been making a ton of plays this season. You do kind of wonder if this is maybe uh, a, a wake-up call for the Chargers that maybe they need another receiver here. Now, on plays like this, I I think that uh, they can still be very effective. And, you know, what the Chargers like to do is run the ball a lot, force uh, opponents to kind of have to get in zone coverage like this when then they can run a concept like what you see on the screen, which is you have a receiver running a shallower route, which can often bring the Cardinals players who are kind of covering the middle of the field further in and then that more over the middle route, which is underneath where the safety and corner is, can potentially get more open. Watch. Herbert takes the snap. You see how, you know, both things happen. The uh, more underneath route, drawing those Cardinals players a little bit further underneath. This route further deep now is open. Herbert makes the throw. And and I think, you know, got to give credit to the Chargers receivers on this one. Uh, uh, That was Joshua Palmer who made that play, uh, who made the catch on that one. They do a pretty good job of these types of plays, of the kind of, you know, being being role players, running the routes that you have to run, uh, you know, the scheme stuff up. They they can do that. It's more so just like the the one-on-one matchups on the outside. They haven't had a super high hit rate. This play was a, a great one, one of the highlights of the night, I thought. So it's going to be, and this is an outside play. You have uh, Joshua Palmer once again, and hey, maybe sometimes the way to win on the outside is just a great throw from the quarterback, where it's going to eventually be a one-on-one matchup down the field. It's where Herbert's going to look towards. 
watch. Herbert takes a snap. There is going to be uh, ultimately some pressure. It takes a while, but he steps up a little bit just to give himself a bit of a better angle, but make sure he gets his feet planted so he's not throwing off balance. However, there is a Cardinals player who I've circled who can kind of disrupt this play, right? It's almost like in basketball. You just, you want to, uh, you know, get your hand up because it just can make it a little bit more difficult for the player to make the shot. Herbert, you know, navigates that well enough to get the ball down the field. The issue is that there is not really a big window for this throw to be made but this is a great throw and a great catch by Joshua Palmer you got to give him credit for being able to keep his feet in bounds so you know uh he, hey he's doing his job on these plays got to give got to give him some love but really I mean this is an amazing throw from Herbert right he, he's certainly capable of doing this Something like this, too, where you're going to see, um, I drew a stick figure on the screen in yellow uh, because the player who uh, we're talking about is actually off screen right now uh, towards the bottom of the screen. ESPN drives me crazy sometimes with their uh, camera work. Like, I don't need to see it this zoomed in. Can we zoom out a little bit? I want, can at least see every player on the field. Uh, no, I can't, unfortunately. But uh, you see, this is going to be uh, semi Fayoko, I think that's how you say his name. Uh, again, apologies. Uh, you know, uh, I, I'm doing a bad job here, but it's a third down play. You see him try to get into a gap in coverage. Herbert's going to take the snap, looks over in that direction, fires in that direction, and as of right here, again, there's a window, but he has to get the ball there in a hurry. And to me, you know, we always talk about arm strength, and usually when you think arm strength, people think throwing the ball down the field on, like, the, you know, go routes, stuff like that. To me, this is really where arm strength comes into play, is being able to fit the ball through tight windows in, in these types of situations. Herbert does that. Receiver makes the grab. They're able to pick up a, uh, a big gain right there and a key gain to pick up that third down. So definitely, there were plays like this where he was just able to make things work. But again, ultimately... It wasn't enough. The Chargers weren't able to win. What went wrong? Well, part of it was just third downs in the red zone. Right here is a good example. It's a third down and nine where uh, the uh, Cardinals are going to play a cover two zone. And when you do this, it's harder to pass the ball. And when the Chargers rushing game wasn't really working, well, what do you do on a third and nine at the 10-yard line? It's tough. They have a concept that can work. You have a receiver run a deep shot, which hopefully can push the middle linebacker further deep. Another receiver kind of cuts over the middle, makes the catch before the first down marker, but hopefully can find a running lane to get into the end zone. Herbert takes the snap, and it's working okay, right? I mean, there is a Cardinals player kind of looking like he could come over and make the uh, play, but it's it's looking like an all right situation. But you see a couple things. For one thing, throws a bit behind, uh, behind, even though he hits his receiver in his chest. Receiver slowed down a little bit. I think you would have liked it to be a bit further. Also, just a really good defensive play by the Cardinals player to knock it away. Even if he didn't knock it away, it wasn't enough yards to really consider going for it, at least for someone like Jim Harbaugh, who tend to not go for those types of things. So yeah, again, Cardinals just winning on some of these key plays. And then something like this too, where again, the Chargers are in a situation where they would love to have a touchdown right here to go up three points. Uh, it's, or I guess the attempt to go up three points, they'd go for two to try and go up three points. You see, it's going to be the, uh, it's a uh, tight end on this play who's running a route. Usually you see the running backs run this route, but it can still work for the same kind of idea. Because watch how one uh, Herbert takes a snap. He looks over in that direction, fires in that direction, and Again, is there separation here? Not really. This isn't something that they do a ton of, which is get a lot of separation. But still, uh, Herbert, you know, wants to make this throw. And honestly, makes a great throw. That was Stone Smart, who wasn't able to quite make that grab right there. But again, it's just, it's you got to give credit to the Cardinals. They were winning on a lot of these plays. But also, I think it's fair to say, like, the, the Chargers weren't weren't being able to get separation enough to win this game, and it's something they just have to be better at. And maybe maybe the way they get better at it is they just run the ball better in uh pre, you know in, in future weeks, and then they can start kind of scheming stuff up again, which is what we've seen them do, but unable to do it in this one. So yeah, gotta give credit to the uh, Cardinals as well, of course, for what they did. But yeah, those are my thoughts. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from y'all, and of course, as always. Thanks for watching.